of the poor people and keep them, and keep them near you. And the last one, who will enter the paradise first, the poor or the rich people? Miss Hood. Auzi billahi min shaitani rajeem. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Okay, Khatija Muslim, read this hadith. Abdullah ibn Amr used to say the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam forbade offering more for something that has already been bought by his brother. Or for a man to propose marriage to a woman when someone else has already, had already proposed to her, unless the previous suitor gave up the idea of the idea or gave him permission. So, eh. so here we need to write the question. Can a man? send marriage proposal to a lady who already have a pending proposal from another man. <clears throat> Can a man send marriage proposal to a lady who already have a pending proposal from another man? So in the answer you write, according to the Hadith 3245 of Sunan Nisai, Sunan Nisai, no, he cannot, unless the previous man gave up the idea or give him permission. I will repeat the answer according to Hadith 3245 of Sunan an Nasai. No, he cannot unless the previous man gave up the idea or give him the permission. Miss Hoor, do you hear us? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. Repeat the question and the answer. Can a man send marriage proposal to the lady who already have pending proposal to the other man? From another her, man. From an other man. Uh, 3245. No, he cannot unless the previous man gave up the idea and give him the permission. Or gave him the permission. Now read this hadith. It was narrated from Muhammad bin Abdul Rahman bin Tauban that they asked Fatima bin Qais about her story and she said, My husband divorced me three times and he used to provide me with food that was not good. She, she said, By Allah, if I, I were in... in the, entitled to maintenance and accommodation i would demand them and i would not accept this the deputy said you are not entitled to accommodation or maintenance 
she said i came to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and told him about that and he said you are not entitled to a commendation or uh, nor maintenance observe your idda in the house of so and so she she said his his companions used to go to go to her then he said observe your idda in the house of Maktam, who is blind, and when when your idda is over, let let me know. Let me know. She said, when my idda was over, I let him know. The messenger of Allah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, said, "Who has proposed marriage to you?" I said, "Mu, Ma Muawiyah." Abdul Razak. Assalamu alaikum. Continue reading. Okay, from where? From here. This point. Okay. I said, Muawiyah and another man from the Quraysh. He said, as for Muawiyah, he is a bar, he is a he is he is a boy among the Quraysh and does not have anything. And as for the other, he is a bad man with no goodness in him. Rather, you should marry Uthama bin Zaid. She said, I did not like the idea, but he said that to but he said that to her three times, so she married him. So we have two things in this hadith that we all need to write. First thing, can a, can an un, uh, can a non-pregnant lady demand anything after divorce from her ex husband? According to this hadith, no, she cannot. She does not have any right from her ex husband. So she cannot ask. We will study that in the chapter of divorce in detail, inshallah. Second thing. If a lady gets a marriage proposal from a person who is not suitable or bad, can we discourage the lady? So if a lady gets marriage proposal, from a man who is either <clears throat> not suitable suitable for her or either he is bad he is a bad person. Can we suggest the lady to reject the proposal. So if a lady gets a marriage proposal, the question that you need to write here is if a lady gets marriage proposal from a man who is either not suitable for her or maybe he is a bad person, then can you suggest 
the lady to reject the proposal? Yes, you can. According to Hadith, three to four six of Sunan Nasai. Yes, you can ask her to reject the proposal. Khatija Muslim. Should I read? Yes. First, uh, repeat the question and answer from the previous sadis. If a lady gets a marriage proposal from a man who is not suitable for her or, can, or either is a bad person, can we suggest the lady to reject the proposal? He, according to Hadith 3427 of Sunan al Nisa'i, yes, you can. Now read this one. The one I finished now, according to which Hadith? That is 3246. But in 3247, same thing is repeated. So you can write any of these numbers. Okay. Okay. Now read this one. It was narrated from Fatima bin Tukaz. That Abu Amr bin Hafs issued a final divorce to her while he was absent. His deputy sent some belly to her, but she did not like it. He said, by Allah, you have no right over us. She went to the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and told him about that. And he said, you have no right to maintenance. He told her to observe her either in the house of Um, um Shar. Then he said, she's a human whose house is frequented by my companions. Observe your either in the house of Ibn Um Maktoum, for he is a blind man. And you can take off your garments. And when you and when your Ida is over, let me know. She said, when my Ida was over, I told him that Ma'awiya bun Abi Sufyan and Abu Jahm had proposed marriage to me. The messenger of Allah said, as for Abu Jahm, his stick never leaves his shoulder. And as for Ma'awiya, as for Ma'awiya as for Ma'awiya, he is a poor man who has no wealth. Rather, you should marry Usama bin Zaid. I did not like the idea. Then he said, marry Usama bin Zaid. So I married him and Allah created a lot of good in him. And all felt jealous of my good fortune. So again, same question is repeated in this hadith. That if a lady gets marriage proposal from a person, who is either not suitable for her or either a bad person, then can we reject the proposal? So, oh, can we ask the lady to reject the proposal? So, yes, we can ask the lady to reject the proposal. Miss Hur, read this one. It was narrated that Abu Huraira said a man of the Ansar came to the messenger of Allah sallallahu and said, I have married I have married a woman. He said, did you look at her for there for there is some something in In the eyes of Ansar. So same thing if uh, we if a man is thinking about uh, sending a marriage proposal to a lady and we know that lady has some problem, we can just tell the husband or the man that she may have these problems so that he can make the right decision before marriage. No need to write any question here. Mr. Abdul Razak. Do you have any question? 
Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Question is regard to um, the first hadith that we correct that it is said that um, the woman who has been divorced by her husband three times um, did not uh, do the Ida in his husband's house. And also, um, according to the hadith, uh, um, the husband is not supposed to uh, take care of her maintenance. I want to ask if it is during the Ida or after the Ida. And secondly, um, the, the, in the same hadith, the woman made mention of two persons proposing to her and the and Rasulullah advised her on the two persons and rather recommended the third person. Now, taking it back to the previous hadith where it, where it is, it, it, it is uh, stated in it that um, a man is not supposed or it is or prohibited for a man to say proposal to a woman who has already been given proposal. Then why then in this case, there are two persons sending proposal to the woman at the, at the same time. And in the previous hadith as well, uh, the end portion of the hadith says that when the man uh, permits you, I don't understand that point, is it that when the first man who sent the proposal, his proposal is, is, his proposal is still pending, but he permits you to send a proposal to the woman as well, or what does that word permit, permit mean over there? Let me understand your question first. So your first question okay, is so this, that if a woman is divorced... Okay, let me come again. Let, 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 me, let me frame the question again. My first yeah. question is, yes. in, the, in the previous hadith that we... we, we uh, um, revise before we started the, a, a today's lesson at the end point of the hadith where it is saying that a man has a, a man is not supposed to send proposal to a woman who has already been given proposal unless the uh, first man who sent a proposal no, just hold for a minute. the second just man to for so want... just hold for a minute let me write it what just hold for a minute come again just hold for a minute. Okay, so your question is, let's suppose there is a man, Ali. The name of the man is Ali. Yes. Ali has sent a marriage proposal to a lady whose name is Sarah. And according to the Hadith, now another person whose name is Ahmad, cannot send marriage proposal to Sarah until Ali gives the permission or Ali changes his mind. Is this your question? Yes, please. Okay. So, so yes. my question is so what what do the hadith mean by Ali giving Ahmed a permission? Yeah. So Ali sent a marriage proposal to the Sarah, but Sarah did not make any decision yet. Ahmed also wants to marry Sarah. So Ahmed cannot send marriage proposal to Sarah until the Sarah makes the decision about Ali. And if Ahmed really wants to send many proposal to Sarah, he must take permission from Mr. Ali first. If Ali allows him to send many proposal, then he can. Otherwise, he will wait until Sarah makes the decision about Mr. Ali. Okay, so if I get, if I understand it, meaning um, if Ahmed seeks permission from Ali, and Ali gives him the go, go ahead to, uh, for Ahmed to send his proposal to Sarah. And what that means is that Ali has withdrew from the pro uh, proposal he has sent, right? Yes. Okay, there's that color of Sarah. So, because I want, to, I want to understand if Ali has no can, can the, does Ali have the right 
without withdrawing from his proposal and at the same time giving Ahmed the go ahead to propose to Sarah. That's what I want to understand. Yes. If that Ahmed, also... yeah, if Ahmed, if Ahmed goes to Ali, but Ali says no, I have not, I have not withdrawn from my proposal. I didn't take my words back. I still want. I'm waiting for a response. But you, Ahmed, can also send your response. Uh, uh, sorry, your proposal. Is that permissible? Yes, that is permissible. Okay. Then the second question and the third question has to do with um, this, the hadith that we are treating now. That in the hadith, um, it is it is clear, uh, it is stated that um, the man is not responsible for the maintenance of the woman whom he has divorced. I want to know that is it after the Ida that he's during the Ida period that um, the man is still not responsible to uh, 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 take care of the maintenance of the lady. So there's a man who is woman. No. And Umar divorced his wife, whose name is Khatija. Umar gave divorce to Khatija. According to this hadith, Khatija now cannot demand anything from Umar during the in the period. And this is from non pregnant lady. Okay, 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 okay. So during the Inda, or even after the Inda, okay, she understand. cannot demand anything from woman. Woman does not need to give anything from Khatija. Khatija need to find some okay. other alternative for her expensive. Okay, so what then again? But how would the man know, or how will Umar know that Khadija is not pregnant? Because it is within the Ida period, after the end of the Ida period, perhaps that, um, you will be able to know that uh, indeed um, Khadija is pregnant or not. Khadija herself now this thing. If she tells that I, she is pregnant, then according to law, Umar needs to provide everything to her but if she say okay. i am not pregnant then woman does not need anything to provide her when okay. when okay. women okay. have exactly. menstruation this means they are not pregnant when they don't okay. have that, okay. then this means they are pregnant okay. i think i have a third question but the third question, I think it's already answered with from the first question. But the third question has to do with the same woman who said she has received two proposals from two men, whom Rasulullah advised not to get married to. So I was trying to ask why then the two persons or two men pro, uh, send proposal to the woman at the same time. But I think I've gotten my answer because it might, it, it may be that the first person has given the second person the go ahead also to send his proposal or something, as you explained earlier on. But if that is not the case, you can clarify things for me, inshallah. Yes, this is another thing that if also sends a marriage proposal to Fatima and Umar knows that this person, Archer, is a bad person. Or maybe he is not suitable to Fatima. You can tell Fatima that this person is not suitable for you. Just reject her. Okay. And the lady has asked the question: Is the not to be performed in the man house? It is performed in the man house only when the woman is pregnant. Otherwise, no, she has to leave the house after divorce. If she is pregnant, then 
the man has to provide her residence and other expenses. But if he is not pregnant, then she has to leave the house after divorce. Okay, Mr. Abdul Razak, read this hadith. Ms. Khatija. A man of faith is the one in marriage to someone whom he likes. It was narrated as Umar said, have something to Umar become single when her husband Kunais, meaning Bin Bun Hudafa, died. He was one of the companions of the Prophet وسلم, who had been present at Badr and he died in Al Madina. I met Uthman Bun Amfan and offered Hafsa in marriage to him. I said, If you wish, I will marry you to Hafsa. He said, I will think about it. I'm coming. I will think about it. A few days passed, then I met I met him and he said, I do not want to get married at this at the moment. Omar said, Then I meet Abu Bakr as Siddiq. May Allah be pleased with him and said, If you wish, I will marry Hafsa to you. He did not give me an answer, and I felt more upset with him than I had with Uthman. I'm coming. May Allah be pleased with him. Several days passed, then the messenger of Allah sallallahu wasallam proposed marriage to her, and I married her to him. Abu Bakri met me and said, perhaps you felt upset with me when you, are half, when you offered Hafsa in marriage to me, and I did not give you any answer. I said, yes. <clears throat> I said yes. He said nothing prevented me from giving you an answer when you made the offer to me, except the fact that I had heard the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi speak of her, and I did not want to disclose the secret of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If he had left her, then I would have married her. So, can. Can a man propose or suggest a person? to marry his daughter if he thinks if father thinks that person will be suitable for his daughter. Can a father can a father propose or suggest a person to marry his daughter if the father thinks that person would be suitable for his daughter. So according to this hadith 3250, yes, he can. Hadith, according to hadith 3250, 
Yes, he can. Mr. Ford, repeat the question and the answer. Can a father propose a propose or suggest a person to marry his daughter if the father thinks that person will be suitable for his daughter? According to Hadith 3250, Sanan al Nisai, yes, he can. Now, if anybody has any question, they can ask me. Then we will stop. Oh, you don't have any questions? So, see you all next time, inshallah. Masalam. No. Why are you